What's up guys? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh production. So not too long ago, I was contacted by a company based out of Toronto, Canada called Zoha Aroma. And uh, they basically make fragrance oils. They reached out to me, they wanted to send me a number of their fragrances for review. So here we are. Basic scenario as we have for a lot of these videos. So real quick, I wanna send a shout out to Nafi who reached out to me and sent me all these fragrances. Thank you, Nafi, so much. Really appreciate you and hope you enjoy my honest take on what you guys have going on here. So they sent me 10. Um, I only have nine here and I'll explain why in a second. And uh, basically what they do, they focus their, um, their creative energy on creating fragrance oils that are based around Middle Eastern perfumery and those traditional scent profiles. And a lot of those I believe are original scents and then they also do some clones they do some clones of some popular niche and designer fragrances i think primarily niche but designer as well so i got quite a range of fragrances from them i tested them a little bit here and there and i'm just going to share my basic thoughts going to try to keep this quick as we can so we're going to go down the line here so let's get started so first of all what i'd like to do is talk a little bit about fragrance oils and what i think of them so let's talk about the pros of using fragrance oils and over using a spray. Uh, number one, you can control the application much more. Oils are generally roll-ons, so you can choose where you want it. You can not worry about getting it on your clothes if you want to do that. Another great thing about oils is that they are generally pure perfume oils, so that means they are powerful. You're going to be getting some great performance out of these things. They're going to last you all day and then some. So nothing to worry about with that. Those are the pros in my eyes. If you have any more pros that you can think of, please right now leave them down in the comments. In terms of cons with fragrance oils, to be honest, I've never been crazy about oils um, just because, you know, they're oily in it. Put something on my skin that's just gonna just leave oil you know leave oily marks and it's gonna last forever and I've never really been about that I've been about a spray that I can spray on it'll dry it'll evaporate it's gone you know good to go so in my opinion some cons with oils is that they are very strong so the performance can be a downside um, if you over apply these things you're going to choke people out like extinction mass extinction around you so you got to be careful with how much you apply because again they are very powerful also oils if you get them on your clothes if you do happen to miss or get it on your shirt if you have a white shirt or something like that they could stain so you got to be careful with that and also if you put it on your skin and you decide you want to wash it off or change it to something else they can be kind of difficult to wash off because of how strong they are so once again something to be mindful of so with all of that out of the way Let's get into what these fragrances are. This first one up is a clone, and this is their rendition of Bleecker Street from the House of Bond Number no. 9. And I love the presentation. Little glass bottles. These little glass bottles, I love that. Great label. Um, twist off cap. I love this design. Very classy, very durable. I love it. So, what does it smell like? Well, to put it simply, it smells like Bleecker Street. It is spot on. It really is. It literally smells like Bleecker Street from start to finish. And again, as an oil, it lasts forever. So you're gonna get great performance out of it, which some might not get out of Bleecker Street, myself included. So I would definitely recommend that one. If you're looking to get a higher performing Bleecker Street that smells basically the same, I'd say check it out. Up next, this is one that we talked about recently in a uh, my past couple videos, at least the original version. This is yet another clone, and this is a clone of Tom Ford Oud Wood. So, what do I think of this one? This is the only one that I'm really not a fan of, I gotta say. Now, I put them on paper here. I didn't put them all on my skin because, again, they're very strong. I didn't want to just be just reeking and have to shower for 25 minutes. But, have it on paper. And what I will say is that it does smell like oud wood. It is reminiscent, but it's more medicinal. There's something more medicinal, more menthol-y about it that I just don't really like. Now, when it dries down, it gets 
a little bit closer to oud wood, it kind of settles down and again it gets, it's maybe about 90% close to my nose. It's not quite as smooth, but the scent character is definitely there. So overall, it's okay. It is similar, but it's not as pleasant as the original to my nose. Up next, we have the one that I don't have, which is called Oud Al Aswad. I'm probably butchering that name, so I apologize. Um, I don't know what it translates to, but the reason why I don't have it is because I actually gave it to Diana, my girlfriend, who you just saw in my previous video. Uh, she liked it a lot. She really enjoyed it, so I actually let her have it because I thought it was a little bit feminine for my nose, but it's a beautiful scent. Basically, what I get is this watery rose scent. Like, imagine sitting in, in a bath filled with rose petals. Very luxurious, just very kind of aromatic, but again, kind of watery at the same time. A really nice scent and something that I've smelled before. There's a fragrance house called Abdul Samad Al Qurashi. I'm probably saying that wrong once again. I apologize. They have a fragrance called Black Incense. I'll leave a bottle right here. This basically smells just like that. Watery rose. Very nice. Very elegant. Again, not super masculine to my nose. It feels more feminine, but I think in the traditional Middle Eastern vein, it is kind of a masculine scent. So that's just my Western nose not being used to it. But yet again, I gave it to Diana. She digs it. So hopefully she'll be continuing to wear that. But it is something that I enjoy. Something I recommend checking out. If you like this kind of watery rose, there's a little bit of oud in there as well. A tad bit sweet. It's a nice fragrance. Up next, this is a big one. And this is uh, their rendition of the brand new release from the house of Creed. And that is Creed Viking. Now, I do own Viking, and I really enjoy it. And does this smell like Viking? Yes, it does. It smells pretty dang close to Viking. It is, it is spot on, really. The only difference is it's a little bit sweeter, which some people might like. It's not quite as fresh, but still has a freshness to it, like Viking. Viking has that peppermint note that really brings that freshness to it. And this has that a little bit smoother, um, as it dries down after a couple hours, it's basically Viking. I dig this one. If you want a cheaper alternative to Creed Viking with great performance and a little bit sweeter, check this out. Up next, uh, this is one fragrance that I don't have, at least in, in any form really, but I have smelled it in passing a few times. And that is the original. And we're talking about from the house of Martin Margiela. This is By the Fireplace. And I really love the original. I don't know if I'll ever get a bottle of it, but I really do dig it. This kind of sweet, gourmandy, smoky chestnut vibe to it. And from what I remember smelling a couple times in the store, this is basically spot on. You get this roasted chestnut. It's sweet, there might be vanilla in there. Again, kind of smoky, nutty. I really dig this. And again, to my nose, extremely close to the original, so if you want to check that out, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Up next is another original of theirs. This is, again, kind of along the lines of a traditional Middle Eastern scent, and they call this one Nora. If I can, there we go, Nora. Not sure what that means. What I get out of this, it's kind of similar to the Oud Al Aswad. It's kind of a oud rose combo a little bit more on the rosy side more floral side in general a little bit powdery but it does have a sweetness to it there's some fruity nuances in there i think there's like a, maybe papaya or something i'm not sure they have notes on their website um which i will link down below by the way i do enjoy this one uh let me refresh myself on what this smells like yeah whoo fruity floral for sure with a little bit of oud I enjoy it. It's a little feminine to my nose. I don't think I could wear this one, but I do like it. So ladies, if you check this out, you want a kind of a, a nice fruity floral Middle Eastern scent, check this one out. Again, it's called Nora. Let's move on. This is yet another original of theirs. And uh, it's funny, Nora is the darkest of them all, but it's fruity floral. And this one is one of the richest ones, but it's kind of clear. And this one is called Kalamat. 
which I've seen as a name before. I don't know what it means. I really should look it up. I know there's a Kalamop Black that's a popular fragrance that's been getting some buzz. I've smelled that one. This is in that same vein. Very rich, ambery, vanilla oud. Um, a beautiful scent. Very powerful. Extremely strong. Uh, very much on the side of what you would imagine in Middle Eastern perfumery. Very, very nice scent has a slight darkness to it, but again, sweet, rich, kind of creamy. I dig it. Still trying to figure out how these things play on my skin. They don't really fit my profile, I think, just because they're so loud. But maybe in moderation I could pull it off, but I recommend checking it out. That's Kalamot. Coming up next, we got a few left. Thanks for bearing with me. And this one up is yet another original. I'm not sure if this is a new release, because it's not on the website, it's called Cacao Noir. And what does it smell like? Well, it has a chocolatey nuance to it. Kind of a chocolate oud with citrus. That's what I get. Almost like there's like a sweet mandarin mixed with cacao. I'm honestly, I could be wrong about that. I'm really not sure, but that's what my nose told me when I first smelled it. And it's really pleasant, sweet, a tad bit spicy, um, not very woody and dark and oody like some of the other ones. I really dig this one. It's kind of a unique scent profile, so look into that if you're looking for something different. We got two more, and these last two are clones, both of which you've heard of the originals here. This next one up is the ever popular classic. Tuscan Leather from Tom Ford. And again, like most of these other clones, it is spot on. <sighs> Man, Tuscan Leather is one of those scents that I haven't quite figured out how to wear yet in terms of how it fits with my personality. But every time I come to it, I do enjoy it. Slightly spicy, raspberry sweet leather. Um, kind of a dirtiness to it, but still very refined and elegant. Again, this is spot on. And as an oil, it's gonna last on your skin forever. So you could just call it an enhanced Tom Ford Tuscan leather. I dig it. I think they did a great job. I don't know how they got so close with it, but I do enjoy it. Last one, another heavy hitter in the niche community. And this is one you guys have heard of, Reflection Man from the House of Amouage. I absolutely love Reflection Man. I own it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Such an elegant scent. Uh, just a clean gentleman's scent. And how did they do with this one? They knocked it out of the park. This is Reflection Man. I have the original. I sprayed it here. They're the same. They're absolutely the same. That powdery jasmine, again, that white florals, a little bit of musk. I think there's even some sandalwood in there. It's slightly sweet. Such a gorgeous scent. Um, and again, they, they really got right onto it. It is Reflection Man. So if you're looking for an oil version that will perform well, even though the original performs well already, at least on my skin, check it out. They have a wide range of many other fragrances, both original and clones. Again, link will be down below. Overall, I'm happy with the House of Zoha. These Middle Eastern perfumes, I definitely am intrigued by. I'm gonna look more into those. Zoha, I appreciate you guys sending me your fragrances to review. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you wanna check them out again, link down below. Thanks so much for watching. Peace. I'll see you guys in the next one.